See, on the question of voluntariness, it's uh, it's very interesting. I think you know voluntariness as a notion within the UID was just a marketing strategy. I don't think there was any intention for it to be for it to be voluntary, because if uh, you know if people have multiple identities already and you don't require this additional one, you're not going to take it. Uh, if you think that this can actually devalue your identity, then you're not going to take it. So you would actually be judging it. Every person would be judging whether they wanted to take this identity or not. And the UIDAI is looking, and Mr. Nilakani, who's its head, throughout his uh, his agenda has been to get everyone onto the database. The UID is about uh, creating a citizen database, a resident database. It's about knowing everything about everyone. So the idea of voluntariness simply doesn't sit with the three things that Mr. Nilakani in 2009, November, I heard him say, uh, it should be unique, it should be universal, and it should be ubiquitous. Now, universal and ubiquitous are completely contrary to the idea of voluntariness. So I think, uh, I think it's pretty plain that it was never intended to be uh, voluntary. In addition, uh, after, Ms. after the project started off, Mr. Nilakani has himself been the author of reports where essentially they are finding ways of making people have to take a UID whether it is on the public distribution system or on the LPG gas connections. So these are agendas that are carried forward by Mr. Nilakani. This is not a voluntary agenda. This is an agenda of mandatoriness. So I don't think it was ever intended to be that. As for the relationship between the UID and the National Population Register, uh, if you read it, you find that uh, essentially the National Population Register was meant uh, to use the UID as its back office. The UID was not meant to do enrollment on its own. But uh, Mr. Nilakari was a man in a hurry and since he has shown through many of his reports his contempt for the government and for governmental functioning and uh, since he's also shown his uh, valorization of corporate efficiency and corporate functioning, he decided to take that over and since we have a corporatized you know, Prime Minister, Prime Ministerial and uh, Planning Commission uh, Deputy Chair uh, in place, that you know, it's not just a collusion of interest, it's also a you know, meeting of heart and soul. So, it, you know, it produced something that... So, the, uh, the, uh, if, I just, if I were just to say one thing about this, it's that the National Population Register, Register is a governmental project. The UIDAI, we don't even know what project it is. All we know is that the executive notification by which they were set up allows them to own the data. That's something that even a government doesn't claim to do, that it doesn't own the data, it holds data, it uses data, it manages data, it delivers on the basis of data, but it does, there's no question of ownership. Whereas here for the first time with the corporate coming into the government, you find the idea of ownership of my data and your data uh, being merely handed over through an executive notification. So these are, you know, these are really different paradigms.